I feel like we haven't done an actual like in person video for a long time. We haven't, it's been about a month. Um, I've chosen <sighs> this leather ensemble that is giving me Hansel and Gretel meets the child catcher. I mean, you're definitely a villain. Mm, I got like I just realized we're both in black too, which is villain esque. Whatever. I didn't know what to do. Anyway, um, we've got a massive clothing haul. We said in the, one of the last videos that we had a massive clothing haul because we just accumulated stuff. But the problem is things are selling. Things are selling quickly. We're having a good time. We've had a four-figure uh, bank holiday weekend, which has been absolutely beautiful been good. on eBay, I'm talking about. Um, so things have sold since we purchased them. So this is an accumulation of probably the last month of sort of like highlights and things that haven't sold that we've That's just funny. listed or... There, there's a possibility as well. With that. We did it uh, a whole on Instagram Live as well. On Instagram, it was live at the time. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Right. That's the whole point. Um, there may be one or two pieces. I don't think there are, but there might be one or two pieces which cross over, but we'll see. If, if they do, they do. Apologies. But I guess, and if you're watching on YouTube, you may not have seen that anyway. Whatever. So we've got lots of different types of brands, mainly high-end ofs, but I've got a few sort of like high-tier, high-street and a few brands that are new or um, maybe new to you so i tried to mix it up as best as i could but here we go we're gonna do this we've been putting it off we haven't been putting it off but it's very different like talking to the camera and like the energy that goes into it then <laughs> yeah i think as well like usually by the time we finished our day as 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 resellers across the board it's not to stand here and talk for two hours is it's fine but like you just said you have to like i don't like to just come on and say Oh, yes, this is this. It's boring. So, like, we have to we have to be into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just going to state now, this is already a very hot garment that I'm wearing. Well, you chose this, sis. Deal I'm with feeling the quite heated. Anyway, you're crime, you're going to do the time. First up, let's just go through it. Should we just you do take? it? You take... I'll take the wheel. And I'll... Look at those. That's a pair of shorts. Talk. These are some shorts by a brand called farm rio although the tag says farm underneath it says at farm rio and normally you can tell because the the actual tag the cutout is rainbow thread it's actually all different yeah it's exactly yeah. that these are a size large these are sort of some relaxed like what i would call summer vacation shorts um look really cute with just like a, a t-shirt what's really cool actually is the drawstrings they're kind of dipped you know like when you kind of get the, yeah rubber eyes you can kind of get you get that more high-end garment really don't you mm -hmm. they, yeah they're like well they are racks probably but it feels more rubbery and you can see the name of the actual company in the pattern anyway they're very well known for this type of thing so bright cold bold colorful prints jazzy if you can find the maxi dresses they're cash Tans, the summer dresses then you're in for the big bucks they've also done some collaborations um i do believe at one point they were in out for prodigy but retail on these 150 to 180 for a like, basic short and then the dresses are like 250 upwards yeah so like what i'm saying you just mentioned the caftan stuff i'm guessing they're they're a brand which are more kind of like you said like summer wear like yeah, not cruise wear necessarily but more kind of like beach wear that I kind of thing. like holiday stuff it's not yeah. even beach wear though it's like dresses uh, and things that you don't uh, away, uh, yeah okay fair it, enough it's like i don't know i think it's british people that this is and like i think summer really class is as, as holiday wear because we we don't wear this thing these things all year round yes yeah anyway but they're not people wear these all year round anyway cool. really popular they're a really great size they're a size large and they're really relaxed fit so they're perfect um we did we well, have photographed them and steamed them and now they're creased yeah anyway um i got these for four pounds yep um i believe four pound top of my head um all my video. yeah, all my yeah. estimates of how much I, we paid is an estimate because I can't remember, but they are documented and they are in the video. Yeah, it's not like we're lying. But I'm around that <laughs> ballpark. Anyway, I listed them for eighty. Cool. That that's pushing the comps a little bit on shorts from that brand. But if you get anything else from that brand, then cool. Okay. Next, next up. Next up is a brand we pick up quite a lot, and I like picking it up. Um, it it sells. Okay, it's it's a um, mid range. Uh, this is new label Essential Antwerp. Probably gonna get told off for that one. Um, but this is just like a nice. I call this like work chic. It's got like it is, in it. It. it is. It is definitely. You could like that's like a. I mean, you can wear it. It's anyway. what I call an office top. Yeah, it's... I know that sounds terrible, but like you know, if you're if you're going on a mad one or like just in general, you're like you're trying to like style and profile. With all due respect, that's not the type you're doing it, and that's kind of an everyday kind yeah. of. It's quite cool, office, whatever. But this Short has sleeve. really nice features. So it has the beaded collar, and it also has the silk the bow, bow at the back. Um, so very relaxed, very like nice. I don't know size. I think it's a larger size. It's a size 
40 EU. So it's a 12, it's about 12. Uh, we paid £4.50. I want, I want to say it's under a five, but yeah. And I've listed it for 50. I'd like to get 50 to 60 on these. I've listed it for 60. I'd like to get 50 to 60 on these. There you go. Got it? Indeed. We, we picked up a few pieces from this band this month, haven't we? Yes, I like to sell it. I, th I yeah. think it's like a really nice contemporary workwear, casual wear brand, but it's got a higher retail price point. Um, yeah, it's a good one to pick up and a new label, maybe. Sorry, I keep getting stuck. My leather keeps getting stuck on things. <laughs> Next up. Yeah. Um, so this is... Pierre Balmain. Yeah, so this is Pierre Balmain. Now, uh, they're known, obviously, Balmain in recent times have been known for blazers, specifically blazers with their amazing looking buttons. Um, it's a it's a two button blazer. I don't know if you can see the buttons there, they're really cool. Yeah, they are. Um, and basically, so it, it was rebranded as uh, Balmain, like, and went back and forth a few times. This is a more recent blazer and a more recent label. Basically, they did kind of, you can you can also tell not only by the actual fabric of the label, but also the kind of typeface which they've used previously. This isn't just an older jacket. This isn't like necessarily last year or anything, but this isn't like 20 years old or anything. This has been um, what, what I'd call like a re-release of the original kind of branding. It was almost like not a special edition, but you know what I mean? It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like a kind of um, a homage, we've if you will. We've got two of these. We've got a double-breasted one, and now we've got a single-breasted one. But the, and I usually actually bought my double-breasted one to dye it black yes and then she returned it because the tailor said they couldn't dye it black so now i've got a black one and she wants to get back to me sometimes if anyone doesn't know you can dye it like most cheap garments um but a lot like for example if you had um say say this i'm wearing now had a uh, um say a, a ralph pony for example and the ralph pony was white or any other color bar white maybe if it's stitched and the, the, the stitching is a certain kind of stitching it won't it won't take the color um so what you'll find is i think one of the reasons she she sent it back was Everything wouldn't go black. Yeah, it was. There would be stitching or whatever else, which which wouldn't take to the dye. So it was just a whole thing. It was an interesting thing. Anyway, we paid fifteen pound for this. Yeah. It has. It does have signs of like what I call like storage damage. Like it just hasn't been like cared for in the best manner. Um, it would benefit from having a full dry clean and just being loved a bit. It was also made in Italy, which once again makes a massive difference because any of the kind of newer, um, especially uh, like the tailored stuff, specifically the blazed and stuff. Um, they do they do much better if they're from Italy or are made in Italy. So once again, that's something to look out for. Don't just go and pick up. Um, we did it initially. Don't just pick up every Balmain jacket, a Pierre Balmain specifically jacket you ever see, because majority of the time they go for like they'll go okay, but it's such a it's such a long winded sale. This will I promise this will sell in like I would guess under three four weeks. Because it's very representative of styles they do now and what they've become famous for, which is blazers with big with monogram buttons. Yeah. I would actually put on the, put the money uh, put money on the fact that once again this was done just before they kind of blew up as regards yeah, yeah. blazers and stuff. So the fact it's kind of got it's kind of foreshadowed that kind of trend. I think there's some good money in it. I listed 150 because of the damage, yep. and um, I got my white my cream white one up for 400. So I I, I do think it. It needs some TLC and they need someone to invest yeah. in it. Agreed. Hence why I put it down, for the, put it up for the price I put it up for. Uh, next up is sort of like what I would call higher end high street, but it's not our high street. It's an American brand, so this is Wilfred Free. They do two, uh, they do two lines of this, I believe. The full line Wilfred and then Wilfred Free, which so I just believe... Wilfred on his own and then Wilfred Free. Yes, I believe Wilfred Free is the. Uh, uh, smaller price point brand yep. however this was a really nice chunky knit it reminds me of like a fisherman style uh, it's size small but it's oversized um we got it for seven pound fifty and i've listed it for 60. this brand does so much better in um the states and i did mention on the last video and someone asked about it as i said that um, i was decided to list more american brands on poshmark because Poshmark is an American site. What I meant from that is in beta oh, yeah. now, in beta now, um, there are a lot of Americans, Canadians. I would say like 60% of the beta people chosen were Canadian and American because they already have history of the app or big followings and things in. Yeah, they wanted some people who already were already used to the app and already kind of had history with the app. And if you're aware possess. of these brands, then you might be more inclined 100%. to buy them. Also, um, I think when it launches, there's a hard launch. I think a lot of uh, Americans and Canadians and 
even Indian, they have it in India, uh, Australia, will gravitate towards it because they already know what it is. Yeah. Whereas a lot of people in the UK, they're going to have to build from the bottom up. They won't know what Poshmark is at all, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? 100%. I also think there's a lot of things like there's a lot, not so much now because you can kind of have services on, online which can do that. But years and years ago, like we used to buy stuff from the States where you couldn't, you couldn't have it shipped to the UK yeah, yeah. without like paying massive import tax. Um, not anything sus or dodge. What I'm saying, like makeup. Like I can get a lot of makeup here. Exactly that. So you you have people now who you can kind of send it to in the states, and they just ship on to yeah, you. Yeah. a fee. But I'm saying, so those things happen too. So just something to think about. This dress, it's beautiful. It's got like a ditzy, what I would call like a '60s ditzy floral print. It is uh, our friends over at Arquette. This is the Arquette label. It's like a rolled under white label and it says Arquette all along the bottom. Do you know what's really funny about this is the the label itself, um, I said this to you when, we, when I first started kind of picking up at Arquette, reminds me of H&M. Because yeah. you know the white label H&M where they have yeah. white stitching on them, you have to kind of look at it closely. And the funny thing is you said Ar Arquette, or um, Arquette, yeah, so, are owned by H&M. Or the same Ar company Ar as And other stories. Um, but it's got a really nice little rouge detail back and the little bus 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 spaghetti straps uh, which cross over but i think it's got a real it's like midi length i don't know you can't see it see, hold it it's got it's like midi length and it gives in i think it gives a real like y2k early 2000s like slip dress cami dress vibe don't you yeah so it's like that that's basically it would look like that from the back yeah but it's really long it's like a midi length yep so i'll show you sorry yeah that's nice that to see there. it and it's split hem anyway we paid 7.99 or 8.99 for this in bath the other day which actually for bath price is actually cheap to start with for a nice dress let alone something from our care um and it's already gone it went on vintage for so 38 so i put it up for i put it up for 45 um i sent offers out for 40 because i was getting a lot of interest in it and i thought oh if we can turn this over quick then we we'll turn it over quick and someone said would you take 38 and i said yes i would so it's gone we so have a wiener put it in a separate pile because I actually have to send okay. that to a lady. Um, she good though, who knew? Let's do this without knocking the camera over. Anyway, this wow. is a sports or gym top, if you want to call it that, athleisure. Um, is this the one with like the ghost in it? Yeah, the front, the front, the front, the front on the front. Nope, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'm saying, yeah, like, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera. Yeah, you know, look. Yes, kind of there. So this is Varley. Yeah, there. And um, they've recently changed their label and made it much more like, um, much more like, the V's. So the V's read Varley, but it's yeah, very yeah. abstract. Anyway, this is a size large, dusty pink. It's got the mesh back and like the see-through. I guess you wear like a little cute sports bra. I would like have it. to say, no, I'm not talking, I mean, the quality is always great and the fabric's always really nice as well. It's high end. But I would have to say some of the nicest um, cut uh, gym wear, in very, my opinion. Very contemporary. Very much so. They sell it in sale for It's right next to Skims, actually. Um, if anyone wants to know. Yeah, it's, um, it's that kind of vibe. Even this, that, that's like as close as kind of what you call like like what the, the material they'd use for Skims, mm -hmm. as you'd get. But this has got multiple labels on it. So it's got the inner label, but it's also got the band label. And this is a good indication when you're looking at Sweaty Betty pieces and you can't find the label, is that most of the time, Sweaty Betty and uh, Lily Lemon, Lemon, like yeah. this tech wear stuff, they put the information on the lower hem so you can just like flip it over anyway we paid four pound or four pound fifty i listed it for 35 you get more money for like the more technical stuff like the uh jackets and very much the same as like lululemon or sweaty betty the leggings anything like bags the, the, the more kind of developed stuff the more kind of like um how i, I, I kind of always use the term overworked but the, like, rather than just the best yeah Something like something that's more heavy, something with zips, something with um, more thought and more kind of processes. It's just more expensive. Simple as that. It takes longer. That's Are we going to put the labels up there, everyone, in this video? Yeah, I might, you know. Yeah, I thought Why I not? that's nice. Because a lot of people have mentioned it. And the problem is, because the way we uh, record this video, and it's always backwards, people mum the labels are backwards, which I get. Um, we let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Anyway, this is a Max Mara weekend. I got a lot of people asking me about Max Mara. Max Mara weekend is a diffusion line of Max Mara. So they're sort of ready to wear a lesser price. Don't normally pick it up because there is a lot of it in, in the world. And this um, looks kind of basic on camera because it's, once again, it's, it's not been, it's been steamed when we photographed it, but it's not, it's been kind of in a pile. But the reason I picked it up, one first it was really cheap. I think it was like three It was really cheap. Pound. Yeah, it was like um, But it's got this like corseting embroidery that sort of gives the illusion yeah. of it's a shape. Um, shape. Yeah. And I thought it really fitted with that Y2K's um, uh, early 2000s vibe. But I also thought it was giving baby, baby tea. I was just going to say baby tea. Very baby much so. tea trend. Like the tiny arms and like, once again, that fitted. Like, uh, like fitted, fitted with like jeans or even just like shorts or something. That's cool. The baby tea thing is where they wear, where people wear really small t-shirts. They literally go and buy 
they look like baby t-shirts to toddlers t-shirts and kids. they're really small um and it, you know they're really you know thin and beautiful anyway um I bought that for three to four pounds. I've listed it for 50, the Max Mara. Um, next up, well, this we bought this a while ago. I don't know if we've shown it or not, but I don't think we have, but I love it. I love this anyway. Anything striped, I'm kind of into. This is Margaret Howell. Um, if you if you don't know the label, once again, I'll put it up anyway. But um, Margaret Howell always sells really well for us. Very utility-based, very, like, wearable, very, like, really good, like, cotton. It's a stripe. It is, it's cropped. Um, it's a Breton. What colour is it? Is it is it black? Or is it grey? Grey. Uh, actually, gray, I, white. I put everything striped as Breton, but apparently I was somebody, reading about it, numbered. and yeah, it has to have a certain amount of stripes because it's it's sort of something to do with sailors. Which I appreciate, but I would say for most people using the word Breton, I don't think it's going to hurt. Stripe. Um. Uh, like. So sue me, as they say. Sue me. Anyway, we paid £4.50 for this. I've listed it high. The comps on eBay for this were rubbish. They were like 35 to 40 quid. So I've listed ours at 50. That's and we've what got I'm like, talking we about. we've got like six watches. So I hope I think, I think... it is an extra small, but it's an oversized extra small. I would say that fit a size 8 to 10. Yes, I would. Yeah, right. Easy, yeah. Next up is, and we're not trying to rush, but there's a lot of stuff. Next up is this Wolford. Wolford. What are they famous for? Tell everyone. Tights. At home. They make tights and like undergarments, and they were the original skims. Uh, no, they didn't make underwear really. They do, I guess. But anyway, um, this is a shirt, but it's a special shirt because is it what size? Is it? It's a size ten. Yep. Even though it, look, it looks bigger than a ten. Oh, I don't know. Just anyway, but it's a bodysuit. Get ready for it, guys. Not your regular shirt. Um, boom, boom. It's a bit of split. So put it down. Um, I don't think that's explicit. I don't know, but it's a piece whole, of cotton, my yeah, dear. Yeah, but the way it's draped, it kind of looks a bit rude. Anyway, um, what is wrong with I'm you? I'm such a prude, aren't I? You are. Anyway, it's a bodysuit, so you, it gives the illusion of a tucked in shirt without a shirt being tucked in. Stop it. We paid eight pounds. I've listed for eighty mm. because retail on these are really high. I don't doubt it. Um, well, for then who knows as well. We sold a Vivian Westwood. Uh, oh, yeah. Collab with Wolford. Little uh, polo, we little polo, nylon polo. But the polo, it was had like it was like looked like a patchwork thing, but it was patchwork of tights, and like yeah. in tights, you know, kind of generic tight color, like almost like I guess you'd say skin color from back in the day. Mm. That kind of tight all over it with a logo. It was tiny, but that was really cool. And once again, so it's a kind of brand they've done collaborations with. It's a very, it's. A, I think, like you say, it was schemes before schemes, if you ask me. Some of the stuff is cheaper, like tights and things like that. Some of the stuff is cheaper, but some of the stuff is really premium. Yes. I was talking to someone recently on Instagram who picked up, uh, found um, leggings. Yeah. And the thicker leggings retail was like 169 And the actual just like tight leggings were like 30 bucks. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was like it. the most it, wild it, thing. It's a big difference. Back this to, is lush. Back to the ceiling. Oh, this would look so nice on me. Look at that. Wouldn't that look nice on me? Look at this button. <gasps> I think I'm like a gold person. Hey, you're ruining my moment. I'm just loving it. Look, do you, you think I'm a gold person? Yeah, possibly. Well, you matched your hat. Do you think that looks nice? I think that looks nice. Mm. No, yeah. I said yes. Yeah, but I'm not enthusiastic. What do you want me to do? Like, do a song and a dance? Go ahead. Give me a microphone. I'll, I'll, give me a microphone. I'll do what you need to do. Come on. We all know I can sing. <laughs> Petite. Batu. Depause. Oh, wait for the comments on that yeah, one. Yeah, I know. Anyway, it's an extra small, which obviously, you know, I don't mind extra small. I don't mind any size. I'm, I'm, I'm a lover. I just hold it up because you know. I'm a lover not here. It's a sparkly. I normally find this brand and it's normally a Bresson right? Or a cotton or something like that. This is nice as well. They have like a little kind of... I feel really out of my groove. Do you feel out of your not groove? Not at all, no. It's, I... got, it's called being professional, you know what I mean? Okay, I feel, like, I feel ungroovy. Anyway. Get um... in a groove. Gold, but I thought the gold was really see, see that's see, extra small yeah, and you're not extra small. Yeah, but by the same token, do one thing it isn't my vibe. No, you're not a gold person, no, see? No. See the difference? It's the colour in it. Too, made isn't me it? glow. You know, it did. It yeah. did make you glow. Anyway, Visually glow. Like glow. It's a very North Core, very Parisian, like French, like, like, like South of France on a yacht vibe. Um I are these thought... actual functional as well, which is really cool. Yes, yeah. they are. Oh, look at that. Okay. Sorry, but I thought the, the gold was—I yeah. thought the gold was particularly nice. Um, paid. Am I putting you on your groove? Five or six pound for this one. I've listed it for sixty, I believe. Bargain. I think that's a really nice, a really nice thing. It's lovely, isn't it? It is. Actually, I think in the winter, like if like like people like nautical people like going on like work dues, it would be really fun. Why do you keep saying nautical? Explain to me. Because it's, it's got anchors on it. 
There you go. Yeah. Answer my question. Is I it, thought you were going to say because you keep talking about that you, you keep logo. referencing you keep referencing stripes. I'm like that's not striped. Though. The logo is a boat. Yeah, I, I give you that. Fair play. No, the, I'll they, hush my mouth. They normally make striped things whenever I find because that brand it's nautical, is striped. which makes all sense. It was a question. She I thought it was a sassy question. Always a sassy question. This is a black label. Black label. Um, it's Rise. The, I don't know what that means. What does it say? It's Rise. The Rise mm. collection, you know. Anyway, it's in this burnt orange dress colour. It is ginormous. It's fantastic. In the best way possible. I haven't tried it on, actually. You have not. But I'm you not, think I don't think it's like colour. No. Yeah, come on. I'm not saying it's not your colour. Oh, do you know what as well? I've just realised. No, I don't think that's my colour. Look at it. No, I, uh, mm. like, give it a whirl, but, I, like, I just, no, I, I'm, I not, I'm not a fan of this kind of colour anyway, to be honest. Thank Maybe you. it's me being, like, the colouring I am. So, one sleeve, guys. Boom. Just cut off. The other sleeve, half cut off. Oh, fun. The the hem, guys. I'm just showing you guys. I'm calling you guys a lot. Where is the hem? I like Up how you're there. using your chin as a hook. Yep, I have three of them. I can use one of them. My black one's like that, too. <laughs> yeah, your black one is. Mm -hmm. But do you know what? I, I don't notice it so much on the black because no, it's not... Black. Well, because it's black. Anyway, so this is a size medium. And the collar, sorry, as you can see. This is a size medium. This is a medium, right? Just, 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 just think about that. Like that there. So this is a great this is a medium. band. This is Run Holtz, Run Holtz, Run Holtz, Run Holtz. Yeah. Run Holtz. Uh, German Lagen look, looky brand. We actually did a whole video on it. Yeah, we did. Go, go see that brand. If you don't know, if you don't know anything about Run Holtz, go check it out. Um, paid. Um. Four pounds, six pound. Yes. Paid six pound recently. I mean, this week. Re yeah, recently, um, recently. I listed it for one hundred and ten because it's the Pima range and nothing. It's not like yeah, it's not heavy. I like your black version is a lot heavier. Yeah, I literally today sold a pair of trousers that were fully printed that have been in a haul further on. Oh, go and see on that Instagram. It's in Instagram stories if yeah. you're interested. And I sold those for 200 Um, But I put it at 110 because it's, it's more of their basic range. I had a like, slightly lower price point. I've got six watches on that already. I've listed it for two days. I think, I think like I said in the main video, like I said, go and watch it if you haven't already seen it. It's interesting. I think it's interesting. Um, I think with that brand, people watch, like watch that brand. They have like search kind of, um, what yeah, do you call yeah, it? Like searching. saved searches are for that brand. That's my just... colour too. Bang it on then, sis. Bang it on. I don't think I fit in it. Anyway, this is a, it's beautiful. this is a Issa Laurel. Um, it is beautiful. It is the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life. It's vintage. I hold it up. So it's a vintage uh, YSL Eaton Ron uh, Paisley. This is this is a uh, ladies now. Yes, Paisley yeah, blazer ladies. jacket. Now the comps on these or the listed on these are massive money, like six hundred upwards um, for this Paisley print. It gives smoking jacket. It gives that. That's why I asked. Like, I, I, I legit. I would, I, if that velvet. was men's, I would do that all day long. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, Bang. paid up on this. Paid twenty. No, 30. Uh, yes, well, what was 45, which we didn't buy? There was something at 45, I want to say. Go and watch the bar. Toast video. jacket. There you go. Jacket. Yeah, so you're 30, you're right. 30 or 35, but, this was. Yeah, and I listed it for, I believe I listed it for 500 off the top of my head. Yep. Um, it'll be a very specific customer who will want to do specific things. But if we all keep up with fashion trends, which is very important when selling high end merchandise. Made in France, guys. Sophia Ritchie has just had her wedding to Elliot. It was iconic. Um, but the the newest trend of the year, and I believe it's going to be bigger than anything else. And with the Met Gala tonight, which is basically the greatest event of my social calendar. I mean, I don't go one day. I'll go. This should be released like kind of I don't know, maybe ten, eleven, twelve o'clock tonight. Uh, if you, as soon as you see this, go and check the Met Gala. It starts like ten o'clock our time because obviously it's in the US. Austin has go WrestleMania. Watch. I have met. Carl. I kind of love this too, but yeah. I know you love it too, but I get a bit obsessed it, about it. If you're it. into sports, like it's, it's kind of the fashion Super Bowl, if you want. Anyway, I think, and the theme is Karl Lagerfeld, so I think a line of beauty. So I personally think, and it has been like echoed in like socials and stuff, that old money vibes is going to be no, the I look do. of the century. Yep. Blazers, hats. So when we, um, when we first when we first tailoring. met, when we first met, actually, I was like, this might be hard for some people to believe, but I was a full on like vel uh, velvet um, velour. Uh, Velour, um, cravat, like shirt, like the time I had massively long hair as well, which is another whole other thing. We used to go but, to nightclubs like, and he'd wear like three piece suit. Yeah, like, but like serious, like as in like, like Scott Disick, the just Lord. Just like. I look like this most of the time. Don't I, don't think for a second that I can't dress. I'll kill it. Simple. That's that's how I roll. I can't dress. You can dress. Um, but all joking aside, what I'm saying is, like, things like this, I love, and I think, like you say, the new money thing. Just watch. Oh, for so long, these have been like. Um, 
like not a thing again like for a while you know what i mean oh, it's gonna be like the radio imagine this with a black slip dress how about this then you know we put yeah exactly that exactly that over oh. over you imagine a man's version or on a on a, on a, on a lady yeah, I just... or, or, like it's yeah it's good stuff actually in actual fact you know we did um we mentioned i think it was on stories my ralph jacket the um umpire jacket yes I promise you that'll stand in the next few months because yeah, that whole vibe is coming back. Yeah, Ralph Lauren. Yeah, well, and I've had that for years, for sure. Isabel Morant, main label. It's just like a, a berry red, um, like a relaxed jacket blazer. But it's got silk trim. It has seen better days. I'm not going to lie to you. It, 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 like, it needs someone to love it and enjoy it. But once again, an, <laughs> another thing that would just look great, like really label, relaxed though. over a pair of jeans and a white tank or something like I, that. I see, I see this on more... Um, Someone, uh, someone smaller, like draped over the shoulders. Oh yeah, like do you a, know what I mean? Drapey moment. Yeah, yeah. With, with like Chanel a clutch. sunglasses. Yeah. There you go. You got it. And a, and a double flap. But it doesn't interest me. No, fifteen pound paid. I missed it for a hundred and twenty. Yeah. Because it does need some love. tender loving care. That's not oh, this song. is a great one. Let them drop. It's all good. Let the bodies hit the floor. Sorry. Um, like this is this is hard enough to put on a hanger, so I'm not getting over oh, there. You go, <gasps> what? Yeah, that's it, like, and then that goes like, like drapey drapes like of the shoulder. So, if went into like this little vintage charity shop where the money went to, like, um, I don't know where it went, um, but it wasn't a chain charity shop, it was an independently owned charity shop. And upstairs, there was an occasion wear section, and you know, that's that strikes horror into my soul, yeah, like, wedding dresses and prom dresses, and like, Ugh, I mean. I'm always gonna look in those sections now because I found free bangers because this couldn't just be fashion that ha it had to be an occasion this thing this is occasion this is like occasion supermarket every every kind of occasion oh, ever yeah. anyway it's masoni it's masoni full label you know what's really cool about this is if you know about masoni if you don't go google it i might even put a picture here but they're known for their kind of zigzaggy multiple colors based on usually this kind of color palette i bet it's got a name i'm gonna but find it out you will have but there it is the actual dress has the, 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 the that that kind of um the knitwear piece knit right through yeah which is up and that's the back but, anyway yeah. so it's in this block color like purple beautiful is it purple thing. yeah i mean you could drape it multiple ways i mean I mean, you could do you could do anything you want. Yeah. Like, anyway, right. it's a size large, which is really great for everyone involved. It's a hundred percent silk, mm. and it's got a label on it that says "Please remove after wearing." Like, don't you cannot send back. Please remove before wearing. That's cool. Um, and it's got the style name on it, Something and then nice, yeah, it? you're meant to just like take it off really gently. Do not wash. Yeah, look at that. It's a security it's a... code. Security. So someone either nicked it. No, they didn't. They didn't. And uh, to be honest, I didn't. So what, what's the difference? Anyway, I bet a tenner. You did. It was reduced from forty pounds in the shop to ten pounds, <laughs> and I've listed it for. When does that now? Three hundred. That's a side. That's a side. No, two fifty. I thought you put three hundred. I can't remember. Okay. Two fifty to three hundred. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with that. It's, it's no lower. That's what we'd expect for it anyway. Relevant of what you've actually put it up for. In the shop next door. Ooh, black's my colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool i love this this is um a lee uh a lee a lee perla a la perla um a la perla top they're actually underwear specialists uh but they do make clothing as well this is like a jersey silk corset top so Carla, i don't i don't think it'll pick it up so it wears like a corset this, this is silk panel but on the sides it has it kind of just blends i love how you mod it under yourself it's i know so i'm trying yeah i'm trying to so they can see the also a large fabric. what also a large yep. in the shop next door sense in a pattern anyway pay four pound this has been listed for a hundred see like what i'm saying is for a lot of people maybe you know La Perla, maybe you wouldn't made in italy like like just to think a vest technically i mean for most people yeah if, you, if you're into fashion if you're not like that just looks like a uh, black ladies top correct for most people if you're not into yeah, fashion yeah, yeah. huge way or brands well, it was they had a and that's a massive markup that's they had an amazing saying. premium reel in that shop and um i don't know if the video is not yet don't think so. And um no. which is kind of cool actually because they didn't see this before they you obviously it missed it. Anyway, next up is this Grecian goddess, and I put Grecian as a keyword because it is it's giving me Grecian goddess. This is That's the light. This is Acne. Acne was Acne Studios before Acne was Acne Studios. A lot of people think they're separate companies, and it bizarres me that they'll be two the same name. No, yeah. it was Acne first, yeah. and then it was Acne, they did that like, like denim range, and then it was Acne jeans, and then it was um, 
at these studios, but they all sell equally as well, so it's okay. So, boom, right, look that's at, the front. Look at it, it's all drapey, like a drapey yeah, drape stuff. Yeah, look at the stuff. back. Uh, it's tones of green. I don't know why it saps the colour out. I did it when I was photographing it. Oh, bizarre. look at that. Yeah, that, like... It's like bright green. Like, it's like I money green. Tell you, like, I don't even know if, it, if it'll change no. my real clothes. That's terrible, isn't it? I did it when I photographed it. It's like that's really cool. mental. It's a size large. Sense of the theme. That kind of hurts my soul. It does that. This was in the occasion where section four, ten pounds. This looks so. Yeah, it does look like this. Looks like it's the same. It's got a as very this. slight discoloration here. Can you see it? Yeah, a very slight discoloration there. So I've listed it for two hundred. Also has pockets, which is really. So nice. I don't think it takes away from the look. And this like whole belt thing. Oh, I love it. It's 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 everything, isn't it? Imagine that like in like Italy or something, and you like. She's having to wander around. Yeah. I like to imagine all the people that wear my clothes. I really do. It's my most favorite thing to do. Is describe. I should be. I should write a book because I like describing things. how it, how it's worn. How it's worn. Same shop. £6.50, smells like a dream. £6.50 is Rag and Bone. Rag and Bone is hit and miss for a lot of people. But isn't a very expensive brand. This is a size, you got it, it's a size large. Um, it's 100% silk. Model, model. It's 100% silk, but it's got like a lace inlay. Like it's sort of <whistles> cut into it, which makes it sheer, does it? Yeah. No, no, it's fully lined. It's fully nude lined. Oh yeah, it does. You can you can see, but you can't see what is underneath. I take the point. Hundred percent silk, six pound fifty. I list it for one hundred and sixty pounds. Like, don't sleep on rag and bone. People think like rag and bone. They think of denim. They think of kind of like more kind of like I don't know hardcore pieces. The the, the kind of that kind of thing goes really really well and sells quick too. Right. Listen to this. This is a bit Kyrand. Oh yeah, it is. Austin likes to call it something else. Oh, I'm telling you. No, what right. thing camera? Everyone can. Mind that little Britain sketch, you know. Won't mention it. Um, this is a size median. Uh, median. 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 That's an average. <laughs> medium. Anyway, it's a size medium. Now it's got a really cool pattern to it. It's very Largan look. If you're picking out this brand, the more Largan look, the better. Yeah. Um, it's extremely oversized. Once again, it's got this really cool, like funky psychedelic. Do you know what the best thing is the sleeves? So oh, have you seen the sleeves? That's what I was going to mention. The sleeves are like squared out. Look so, like, at that. That's not me holding it. Like that actually, like that, that yeah. fabric is goes to there, that point, and then comes down. Well, what's that famous dress that goes out? Is it Grace Jones? Uh, yes, the, the, the jacket. Pads? The jacket. Anyway, I've listed this. Who did this recently as well? Who did this kind of shoulder? Uh, Rick Owens. Rick Owens. Yeah. Um, I've listed it for fifty, and I honestly think, looking at it, that's an absolute bark fest. It was like four pounds, five pounds. I mean, I don't. Yeah, bark fest is what I how to describe it. Bark fest, taking it straight to the bark fest. If anyone's bored at this point, feel free. I am. You can pause. You can leave. You can. You you think they've lasted this long? <laughs> Norse project. Norse project. Like Norse. I actually see this more as a menswear brand. Don't at the messenger. I do. Don't hate the get. Oh, that's horrible me. Um, but this is a women's piece. It's a ribbed, um, striped, but I wouldn't call this Breton because it's different types of stripe. Um, it is actually a dress. The label reads dress. I know, I don't That's a teeny it. weeny dress. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, it's a tunic. It's so I put it in the air. I put it as a tunic. It's also a size large. Yeah, a pleated dress. Okay. Uh, size large. I've listed this for... 60 off the top of my head you know, you paid know, four bucks you know if we don't see it as a dress does that mean we're like old yes that's Sweet. exactly what it means a new label to me so it might be a new label to you it. this is libby libby london say hello to libby that's that the label we, um, we got a question you have videos. to show the label longer on this one because i i I'm gonna put the labels up oh, okay. that's what we agreed while starting the video it's also on camera for anyone who uh, is wants to you know Libby London is a modern tailoring brand very similar to Windsor London uh, yes. but more tailored Windsor London has some sort of like casual pieces too this is in a lovely beautiful mint green and this does um, transfer on the screen like perfectly for some reason yes it's a viscose although it looks like a silk it's got a really nice statement like um Cuff. sleeve and that's what actually attracted us to it is that the sleeve is that. so well constructed like look at that i think that's one of the things to look out for when you're looking out for new brands and brands you never like that dealt with before construction quality yeah because it's very unlikely people are going to spend a lot, a, lot, a lot of time or a lot of effort or like higher end kind of fabrics and materials and cuts on just rubbish like like you won't find if you find put it this way if you find a similar cut on a piece from 
uh, like lower end high street, hmm. it will be because it will be in a terrible fabric, and instantly you'll say, oh, no, thank you. Paid five pounds, listed for fifty. Retail needs is about one hundred and ten to one hundred and fifty. The dresses are more, the suits are more, but definitely maybe a brand to look out for. I think that might be a, a watcher. Someone also asked in the comments whether Libby London was the same as Libby Loves. Yeah, it's not. Libby Loves is. See, I'm not a pink person. You're not a pink person. Look at that. Takes it right out of me. Okay. This is Arquette. Again, look. That looks. No, it makes you look a bit red too. Um, this is a size medium. It's average, but exactly this, this we, kind of colour. We paid fifteen pounds yeah. for this, which yep. seems like a crazy amount of money. However, why do we pay that, Bethany? Um, it's a hundred percent cashmere, and it is retail would have been one hundred eighty. <whistles> so okay. I've listed it for eighty All right. bucks. Uh, Vestiaire also do take our cap. But I, I always advise with Vestiaire that list your higher end items because of the fee structure. But because I'm listing this for eighty, it was okay to go on Vestiaire. Yeah, we still. I think it's just like I think our general rule is like over fifty or sixty. We we say yes. You know, for uh, uh, Vestiaire, I'm sorry, sorry. Velvet by Graham and Spencer. You should know this label, I guess. Majority of you guys watching, if you don't, this is particularly beautiful. Oh, yeah. So this is six ninety nine, but the reason I really went for this was it's beaded yeah, and it's nice. fully embroidered on the front. This is not look, look at that. That's so nice. Imagine that on a on a little yeah, beach holiday. That's very nice. Yeah, um, I listed this for seventy. Retail is like three figures on Roman Spencer tops, especially higher. Especially above. something like this, which is embellished and embroidered across the board. I know, right? I think yeah. I think it's slept sleeves on. Sleeves are good I as well. eBay comps are in this one for most people. Look at the sleeves, lace, cotton lace. Um, it's just a really, really, really nice piece. Next up from my pile, because I'm losing the wheel of the leaves. You, 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 I think you keep singing now because people say how lovely your voice is. I've got to let you know. They're lying to me. Yes. I know they are. Yeah. My mum told me I was tone deaf when I was eight. And she was correct. Yeah. Sister Jane. Not my sister, but someone else's. Is your sister called Jane? Look at that. Now that's a glamour piece if ever I've seen one. Sister Jane is a slept on brand. Sister like Jane gold is dust. If anyone knows that reference, put in the comments. Gold dust. Oh, I can be, um, what's the other one? Someone with red. Mm. Not a spike. The red one. The red one with the face paint. Because we got both got a face paint. Sting. Is he red? We'll, we'll go with that. No, I don't think he is. We'll go with that. Who was the one? Yeah, red face paint at one point. Okay. Yeah, who's friends with friends with The Undertaker? Kane. Kane, Kane. <laughs> oh, he has a mask. Stop. Kane. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, the sister Jane has been ruined by ASOS and ASOS's ability to put anything in a sale. But sister Jane is actually uh, yeah, I know. Um, a really great brand. They sell it at Harvey Nicks. Retail is very high once again. This season is a real focus on puffball dresses, meringue dresses, big floofy things. Very similar to Molly Gollard, if anyone's familiar. Floofy Steve. Um, and retail on them is about 250 300 upwards. Anyway, so pick this up for six pounds. I've listed it for eighty. Um, it's obviously not in keeping with anything that's like you know, um, any floofable vibes. But I thought it was a very like. Minimal... I said the sleeves are quite floofy. Yeah, it's a minimal like. Floofage. Nice dress. I've listed it for eighty. Page six. Next up, we're down to the last four items. Um, I think we need to get back into doing like these kind of videos. I think um, I think our humour has left the building. Nah. Okay. Are you, are you Maybe watching? I'm overreading the situation. I am a Libra, so I overthink everything. Anyway, I overthink what like meat for dinner tonight. What are you eating for dinner? No, I'm not getting that conversation. We know how that works. This is Roberto Cavalli. Just, just, just by Roberto, the Roberto Cavalli. Just by Roberto Cavalli is one of the only diffusion lines I think that is actually is really wild. rock and yeah, roll. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Do you know what? If you if you could put, I mean, a bar maybe some embellishment. If you could, if you had a picture in the dictionary of just oh, Roberto Cavalli across the board, but just Cavalli, that there is what it should be. Fabric. Massive print fabric, but Marbled. also. But also detail, like that's a killer detail. That's the that's the fray of the back of the shirt and Pleated. goes right to the side. Huh? Pleated, if you will. Anyway, and it's got a really cool like dagger collar, you know the like nineteen seventies. Yes, you're right. Oversized collars. Anyway, paid Sorry. four pound fifty for this. Yep. Uh, I listed one hundred and fifty off the top of my head. This kind of thing at the moment for kind of more uh, fashion based fans, if you want, is really popular, especially like these digital kind of prints all mm -hmm. over, especially with kind of also some these kind of titty tailoring. shirts. It's very Y2K, it's very like early 2000s. Loungewear that okay. was anticlimax, wasn't it? I was meant to go like, it but it work. didn't work. No. 
This is James Purse. I always used to say James Pierce. James Purse. These are just nice shorts. Do you know James Purse is really expensive? Like, yes, I knew I it was expensive, but it's really expensive because oh, I was yeah. trying to find the waist, the waist measurements and how they do the waist size. Anyway, um, they're shorts like three hundred pound. They ain't cheap. Also, this is like these are really. really I mean, nice. these are standard by James Purse, which is once again is like the more lounge wear, like ready to wear, like. Um, basic a more basic stuff um you. i've listed these for 80 they've already got two watches so we'll see they, they made in the usa as well they're small though these yeah. are small they're supposed to be well, big no but they're supposed to be like crazy large they're supposed oh, to be like very fear of god very kind of easy season vibes you okay. know what I mean? paid five pound listed for 80 wowzers mm, i know wowzy dowsy um next up is high tech Pay ten pound for this, but I think it's I think it's giving Vivian High Tech by Claire Campbell. If you're finding it difficult to look this up on eBay, then you need to add the Claire Campbell bit. High yes. by Claire Campbell. Even from well, you know that. Well, no, I tell you what. In the last video, I put this logo on screen, and to find the label without putting Claire Campbell in, like it doesn't exist on Google Imaging. So you put that in because High Tech there's something like High Tech. So they like, got High Goose, High Tech. Hi man. It's also uh, isom asymmetrical. Isometric. Yeah, it's got oh, one wow. pocket on this side, but I think this would be a gorgeous like uh, mother of the bride, but like you know, like a ex supermodel mother of the bride. It's amazing. Yeah, like. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what's really nice as well is the pleats are actually made um, with the by embroidery. The, this stitching, mm. which is like a circular little stitching, like they've got front and back, which I think is outstanding. It's amazing. It's a it's amazing piece of manufacturing, really. It's beautiful. Anyway, um, I we paid nice ten pound. Austin too. found it actually in Bath. Good for you, Austin. Good for you. You go, Glen, Glen Coco. Coco. I knew you were going to say you Glen go, Coco. Go, Glen Coco. Jeez. If anyone knows the reference, you go, Glen, Glen Coco. Then please put it in the comments, and we will be best friends for life. Um, I listed one hundred and seventy-five pounds. I would have gone higher, but I do think it would benefit from a professional dry clean. And in this case, I am not going to professionally dry clean it because I already have too much stuff in the dry cleaners currently. So um, I'm just going to say that as is and get the cash flow back in. That's is that okay with you? That's saying? fine. I'm just thinking we do have a, a lot to collect from dry cleaners, so we'll just move on. Jill Sander. Jill Sander is my favourite brand in the world. It's not, it's, 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 but I really like it. Um, she she, spe she specialises in minimalist palettes, uh, minimalist styles, minimalist which, which, designs. She's very unlike this dress. Which is nothing like this dress. Um, but I thought it was really nice. The pleats really nice. I thought it was a very yeah, let me get a close -up on that. British summer holidays. The whole dress is pleated. With a Mr. Whippy. Yep. That, does it give you that? Yep. Yeah, like 1920s, like sort of like, you know, on the beach with a beach hut. Saying grey and where's the children? Yeah. You know? With the but ice it's cream. got like a geometric vibe to it. It's got the tie front. It's cotton. I do think it's nice. It's a larger size, so it's a size 14. We did pay 30 quid. This is a what? Did we pay this much? Yeah. But I've listed it for. Three fifty, three hundred to three fifty, or something. There, there was a little, there was a little point uh, a couple of years ago, um, just after COVID, actually, where um, Jill Sander ended up. A lot of their kind of tech stuff ended up in TK Maxx, and I can honestly say oh, yeah. we made a killing. Um, so if you ever see that stuff in those kind of stores for reasonable prices, get it, especially if it's in the sale uh, section, because their new stuff is so expensive retail, so expensive, like mad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just put that on my white table and. It's got white dust on it now, so that's okay. That's a job for you later. This is vintage Valentino. This is actually a nineties label, but it looks really old. It's old, yeah, yeah. Um, Miss Miss V. Miss V was a nineties label brand. This is like a shirt dress. It's giving military, but it's also giving mod. It's giving like it's got a ruche back detail. Do you know? What? I actually think it would be cooler. I know I'm like a guy who likes a button up, but I actually think the the top you, button yeah, you love a top button would be so nice. You love a top button. Then. It looks legit. I'm a, like an anti top button, but if I top buttoned, I would look a bit too look like. A sausage it's in case. The back too, um, anyway, um, the buttons are these that which are, I think is the nicest thing about them. Once again, we heart back to that old money flex. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, it's a size. It's a size eight, but I've listed it for. This is a long video. I've just realised how long this is. If you're I've still here at this point, sorry. Before you 250. finish, two fifty. Two fifty. Listed well for two fifty. Or maybe 200. Ballparks. We're working with ballparks here. My head's not in the game. We're working ballparks. I've only had one drink today. It's half past nine at night. I'm feeling dehydrated. I need to have a beverage. Valentino. 
and you know okay cool um that's been our haul we have two parts of it so we're going to do a little short haul after this which will be um uh hoggers no just accessories because there's just a handful of accessories we want to show you and we thought you might die if you had to sit through the clothes and the hard goods so we just separated them up on this one occasion uh clothes tonight hard goods in the morning so you can enjoy them close together uh this is all about me now austin if you could Family back it up um, move out i can't actually get out it's bad <laughs> anyway um I, we gotta get back into doing these sort of like um videos on the screen because we've had a lot of like picking videos recently because we've been busy bunnies um we've got a lot of fun stuff planned fun. like hilarious like so much so i, I my, like my ribs hit because i laughed so much just thinking about it was that sarcasm honey 100 percent, yes okay um anyway so that has been our haul if anyone has any questions as long as it's not about pronunciation I have a question. Yeah. Can we go now? Yeah, we can go now. Um, yeah. Luxury Pickers, you can also follow us on Instagram, where we post more regularly than we do here. Well, we post quite regularly here. So. Like every day. So, but we post like multiple times a day over there. Um, and yeah, that's probably the only place you can find us actively. If you have any questions, any authentication questions, then head over there. Um, this has been a long video and we appreciate your persistence, devotion. And general love. And general love. I have his hatred. That's okay too. Because we love you. Remember, if you're not cross selling, but those, all those will be cross listed to at least two applications. Via uh, what platform, Bethany? Zipsell. And if you're thinking about using Zipsell, then uh -huh. you can use the code. I was actually. Funny you should say that. What Why code would I, I use? I can hear it. I can sense it. What, what, what code would I use, though? I mean, I, I know the link will be in this video and the bio. Yeah. But what, but what specific wording would I use for for the um? Referral code. Luxury. Oh, okay. Just want to check. Mm -hmm. yeah, just want to check. I just could feel you like the aura. I was thinking the you. whole video, I, I'm trying to get out. You wouldn't let me get out. I was just thinking, I think I should cross list those items. Mm -hmm. And if so, where, what kind of platform should I use? Mm -hmm. You think zip sale. Mm -hmm. Now, I hear you on a free month. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, and it's down below in the link down below. And so if I use that link and then type in when they ask for a referral code, once again, because my memory's bad. You know how I am. Luxury. Luxury. Yeah. Tell your dentist. Tell your friends at work. To tell the lady in the supermarket luxury down below anyway we're going now bye bye <laughs>